It's cold outside. So today we're gonna to be working on getting the heat going in your classic Ford Bronco. And I'm gonna show you how the coolant flows through the heater core. Welcome back to the garage, the place where we are making your Bronco your dream Bronco. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. I'm always putting out how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and providing the Bronco entertainment for the Bronco community. Today, what we're talking about is the heater inside of your classic Ford Bronco. The heater that so many times does not work well but I'm gonna walk through all the functions of the heater and take you through how the coolant actually gets to the heater core. Now, I would love to give a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, especially Deanna, who suggested this video. All right, let's go inside the Bronco and start there. All right, so there are three knobs for your heater. You have the defrost control, you have the heat control, and then you have the temperature control. So the defrost control is a knob that's connected to a cable. And when you pull it, it actually opens up a passage in the heater box that allows air to go to your windshield. All right, now this is the heat control. I'll come back to that. This is the temperature control. And this operates similar to the defrost control in that it's a pull knob. There's a cable that is tied to this that goes through your firewall. And when you pull it, it opens up the, a passage in the heater hose to allow that warm coolant to come from your engine into the heater core and heat up the air. All right, so when you pull that cable, it comes through the firewall and connects to this. Now, like I said, I converted mine to an electric servo and that's what this is. Uh, you can get them at Vintage Air. But for the stock Bronco, it actually comes to this. And this is what the original one looks like. So when that cable comes out of the firewall, it connects to here and it opens up a flap that allows that warm coolant to pass out of the engine into the heater core, warm up the heater core, and then come back to the engine. So if that flap isn't working, then you aren't gonna get any heat in your Bronco. So that's the first place I would look. If you aren't getting any heat to the Bronco, make sure that that is functional and that that cable is actually opening that flap inside there. All right, so now the middle knob. This is the fan one. You just have off, high, and low, but this is also a pull knob. When you open this, it actually opens that passage and allows cool air to come into your, to your heater box. And why this is so important is because if this is closed, then there's no fresh air coming into your heater box. So the fan isn't gonna move a whole lot of air. But with this open, it allows the air to come in to get heated up, and then it allows the fan to then draw that air and push it into the cab, that hot air. Okay, so now that we've covered the function of the heater controls, what I wanna talk about is everything at the engine. What I did was I replaced all the heater hoses with clear tubing so that you can see the coolant flow as it comes through the heater core. Basically, as the engine warms up, it warms the coolant up, and that warm coolant flows through the heater core into the cab, and then the air coming into the cab blows through and warms up the cab. So first, what you wanna make sure of is that all your hoses are hooked up correctly. Coolant comes from the radiator and is drawn into the engine by the water pump. The coolant is then pushed into the intake and then through the engine. Now with my engine getting up to temperature, you can see the warm coolant beginning to fill up the heater hose, but it stops right before that temperature control valve. All right, now before you guys get on me for having air in my coolant system, I purposefully didn't bleed the system so that it would have more of a dramatic visual effect showing the coolant flowing through the system. All right, so now as I open the temperature control valve, you can see the coolant moving into the heater core. Now, watch as I step on the throttle, 
you can see how the coolant flows through the heater hoses and circulates through the system. It looks pretty cool having the coolant flow through the clear tubing like this, but this tubing isn't rated for 212 degrees. I think it's just rated for 170, so this is not safe to drive, but this is for visual purposes only. Now, one thing that I think is confusing is that everyone says it doesn't matter which way it goes into the heater core. So these hoses are hooked up, but you can see that as the coolant flows into the heater core, it does actually flow out. Now, I know that everyone's not gonna swap their heater hoses for clear tubing to test the system. So one way to tell if the warm coolant is making it to the engine is to feel the hoses. And when your engine is at operating temperature, with the temperature control open, both of the hoses should get hot. But if one hose is hotter than the other with your temperature control open, then you know that there's a blockage somewhere in the heater core or in one of your hoses. All right, so that is all of the heater functions and how the coolant flows through the engine. So make sure to check everything. Make sure to check that flap in your air box. Make sure that it is opening and closing, letting that fresh air in to get heated by the heater core. Make sure to that you're getting coolant to your heater core and that all of that is functioning properly and is all hooked up properly. And uh, make sure that uh, you stay warm out there because it's a cold one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.